So using a wrecking wreck, we have to keep in mind a few things before we even get started. So we need all of our beats to the right, that is our rest position, and we start with the white on the right. So if you're using an actual physical wreck and wreck as compared to one, um, you know, an app, you wanna make sure all of your white are to the right. We are also working on supertizing. So what we don't want to see is one-to-one -one correspondence. We have five red and five white. That's helping reinforce the idea of five and 10 as friendly numbers. So if we want um, our child to show us three, what we don't want to see is one, two, three, all right? Because then that's the one-to-one -one correspondence. What we want them to be able to do is supertize to see that small quantity and immediately know um, how many it is. So we want them to just slide over three immediately. If we wanted to see the number eight, we are, again, hoping that our babies are not doing one-to-one. -one, but what we want to see is that they know five red. So they immediately know I have all the red and if they are counting initially in their head, you know, I have five, six, seven, eight, but we still want them to swipe over eight all at once as compared to five red and then one at a time to get to eight. So if I want to show the number 10, I would be all of my beads over as I have five red and five white. So this is how we can use a wreck and wreck. Uh, well, one of the ways we can use a wreck and wreck. So practice giving your child numbers and have them um, show those numbers to you. And it's okay, definitely start with just the, the one row, the single, and let them work on showing you 10, um, well, digits, numbers less than 10, and um, as fast as they can, but with precision. All right, thank you.